Today I'm going to talk about an approximate method for computing the natural frequency of a bee. Please take a moment and read the disclaimer at the bottom of this slide before we continue. Fundamental natural frequency is the number of cycles a beam will be oscillating in one second after being displaced and let vibrate freely. Because of a property of the beam called damping, the vibration eventually stops. Knowing the fundamental natural frequency of a beam is an important consideration when designing beams that support vibrating equipment such as air conditioners, cranes, or beams that are under rhythmic activities such as dancing and aerobic exercise. In design, our effort is to avoid resonance and design a beam with a fundamental frequency of vibration greater than the frequency of the vibrating source. Theoretically, a beam has many frequencies of vibration. However, the smallest one is the most critical. We need to use detailed structural dynamic analysis to accurately compute these frequencies. Simple methods are useful to quickly compute the fundamental frequency. Here are some examples of various modes of vibration of a beam. Mode 1, Mode 2, Mode 3, and so on. Let's look at some definitions. We use little f for frequency in hertz. m is the mass. k is the beam stiffness in pounds per inch. l is the span length of the beam. We use inches. W is the total weight on the beam in pounds. E is the modulus of elasticity of the beam. Ix is the moment of inertia of the cross section. G is the gravity acceleration. And there are some acronyms that you see at the bottom of this slide. The approximate equation for fundamental natural frequency of vibration is f equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of k over m. The stiffness can simply be computed as a ratio of an applied load p to the beam reflection. Here are some examples of equations for k for beams of various conditions. A simply supported beam under a point load at the mid span. The same beam under a uniformly distributed load, little w. The cantilever beam under a point load at its tip. And the same cantilever beam under a uniformly distributed load. Now let's look at an example. We have a simply supported beam of 18 feet in length carries a weight of 5,000 pounds. The cross section has a moment of inertia of 307, and the modulus of elasticity is 29 million PSI. There is an air conditioning unit vibrating on this beam with a frequency of 10 Hertz. So from the equations you discussed previously, the stiffness is computed as 42,405 pounds per inch. The mass is the total weight W divided by gravity acceleration, which is 12.953. Putting them in the equation of the frequency, we get 9.1 Hertz. Very simple. And as you can see, the applied frequency is very close to this frequency, so there is a possibility for very violent oscillation because of resonance. This is a condition we want to avoid. So the solution is to use a stronger beam with a larger moment of inertia or reducing the span length. Both of these would be very effective to increase the stiffness, resulting in larger end. As a final note, recall that if we wish to have the period of vibration, we simply use the following equation, where capital T is the period in seconds. T is equal to 1 over F. Thank you for watching.